welcome to a brand new episode of Pathfinders. To many, Uti is a leading tourist destination, but to students from over 40 countries across the globe, it's their home away from home. They're enrolled at the Good Shepherd International School, a world-class academic institution that's garnering international attention. In this special feature, we visited their breathtaking campus and met with the founder and principal, Dr. P.C. Thomas, to understand just how he's built a school that most of us can only dream of. Nested in the lush hills of the Nilgiri in Uti, the Good Shepherd International School campus is a sight to see. With world-class facilities and state-of-the-art infrastructure, the school prides itself on providing a holistic education of international standards that's rooted in rich Indian values. The 100 plus acre campus, which includes a primary school, middle school, high school, higher secondary school and an all-girls finishing school, is home to 800 students from all over the world. But beyond the range and rigour of its academic programmes, it's the unique amenities that truly set it apart. One such example, the campus dining halls, which serve nutritious, wholesome meals entirely sourced from the all-organic neighbouring Shepherd Farm. Another is the special emphasis on personal ethics that guides Good Shepherd students to succeed in their public life. The fully residential international school has been recognized and ranked as the top school in its category across the country. We visited the Good Shepherd International School campus ourselves and met with the man who masterminded it all by chartering a path that's helped redefine education in the process. Tell us more about the world-class amenities and what's inspired them. Were they a part of your own childhood perhaps or were these all memories that you couldn't perhaps meet growing up but you wanted to provide to a future generation? Uh, to be very frank with you, when I was growing up as an young boy of 14, 15, I decided I would start a school where a child could get whatever he wanted, whether it was riding or rifle shooting or mountaineering, a public speaking, or a, to play guitar, or that's what I'm trying to do here. No child is unhappy. It gives a great satisfaction. Just 40 years old, Good Shepherd International School is one of the youngest international schools there are. Help us get to the bottom of that and the growth that you've enjoyed as an institution in these last four decades. I always worked towards uh, the best. There was no compromise on any aspect of the school, whether it was uh, a, a building under construction, whether it was uh, selection of furniture, whether it was a um, smart board in the classrooms, whether it is providing Wi-Fi or the selection of faculty, there was no instance of any compromise. We always wanted the best. Let's talk about the growth of the school from 1977, very humble beginnings. How much of this growth was organic versus strategic? Both, I would say. 77, um, when we, the day one, we had 54 students, I was very happy. And now you stand at over 800. Yes, we are above 800. Uh, that's our optimum strength as it is now. But I was very confident 54 was a good number and we would start growing. That said, sir, education is still a very competitive and cluttered landscape. There are many options available to students, both domestically and internationally. So when someone's asked the question, why Good Shepherd International School, how do you answer them? Well, we uh, give a lot of emphasis on a home away from home. The students don't feel that they are in a boarding. They don't feel that they are pushed into or punished by the parents. They feel happier to come here. Well, as you mentioned, it's a fully residential program. That said, the onus is on you and the faculty to provide the right balance between care and control. How do you strike that balance? We see that every child gets the best attention possible. Every child has got a counsellor, a tutor, 
a class teacher, besides the subject teachers, there is a dorm parent, there's a dorm nurse. So every individual child is under the care, under the eyes of at least 10 persons at a given time. Well, I'd like to talk more about your student body. Right? You have students here at GSIS from over 40 countries from across the globe. Well, the, in India it is easy, uh, the students have the old tradition, what do you call uh, Mata, Pida, Guru. But to make this convey to the children from other countries, those who grow up in different cultures, it's a bit difficult task, but then we achieve it. This is a, basically the culture of the school. Well, academics aside, amenities aside, what GSIS students are really known for beyond that is the commitment to social service. You know, that really comes as a surprise, because typically the sentiment to give back comes a bit later in life. Well, it depends on um, how you mold them, their thinking. They make it a point to visit an orphanage or a, an old age home. They go and stay in a village for five days with an interpreter to do community service. They clean their houses, they cook for them, they serve food, they clean the road, they bring from homes, they bring old clothes of their parents or someone and give it to the poor people. It's amazing to see what a satisfaction they get when they come back home to the school, I call it home, um, they describe all their experience and it's wonderful. And I tell them, look, children, you have not seen the other side of the coin and this is a great opportunity. And now also, they pass out of the school, they go to the best of universities, they have the best accommodation, but they continue to do the community service. Well, sir, you've touched on university placements there. I'd like to do a deeper dive on how you help introduce students to a career of their choice, even if they are in just primary school, middle school, or higher secondary school. We do a lot of counseling. We have a counseling department, and even I interfere in cases where it is required. In most of the cases, I interfere to counsel the parents because the father and mother, doctors running a hospital, they come to me with a problem. We want our child to go for medicine. And I would have already spoken to the child. The child would have told me, sir, I don't want to go for medicine. So it's a difficult task to convince the parents, let your child become what he or she wants. And finally, the child succeeds. Well, sir, as we walked around campus, we couldn't help but notice that beyond being on the edge of the seat with respect to technology, it's very environmentally friendly. It's a very environmentally conscious campus. You know, was this always a part of your original thinking? Right from beginning, uh, I made it a point that all buildings are constructed environment friendly. For example, we have rainwater harvesting right from beginning. The roof water, ground water is collected and we have a water body where I want to start some water sports in future. Now recently we, we got the platinum ranking for the green building. We got the highest score in the country. So everything is possible if you have a mind to do it and you do the planning. So what's required for a student to get admitted to Good Shepherd International School. Walk us through the admissions criteria and how you evaluate a student in that process. Well, my outlook of a child's ability is slightly different from that of others. I must say that the, I don't reject based on academic performance. For example, if a child scores only 40%, say in English and maths, uh, we take the child. I don't reject, because I only look at the child's eyes. Is the child focused? Is the child looking brilliant? Can he or she promise a good future? It's time for a short break, but up next, our conversation with Dr. P.C. Thomas, founder and principal at Good Shepherd International School, continues. You're watching Pathfinders on ET Now. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back. You're watching Pathfinders on ET Now. And in this special feature, we visited the Uti campus of one of the country's most celebrated academic institutions. Here are more highlights of our conversation with Dr. P.C. Thomas, the founder and principal of Good Shepherd International School. Well, sir, there's been some talk of GSIS perhaps being only for the upwardly mobile. Do you agree with that sentiment? Do you disagree? Share your thoughts. It is value for money. Do you spend and do you get it back? The, I think we, we do justice to education, to the activities, to what a child can learn. For example, I make it compulsory that a child learns one of the in musical instruments. In many schools, it is not compulsory. The, our 500 students enter every year for Trinity College of London Music Examination. Now, show me a school where even 100 enter enrolled. Talking about the planning, talking about the recruitment of faculty, how do you ensure that, you know, they're all drinking from the same well of water? How do you maintain the internal culture here on campus? Well, this is a problem faced by many schools, I'm told, because I interact with the heads of schools and they say it's so difficult to get good qualified faculty. I would say more than the qualified, the committed people, because uh, the teaching profession is not on a priority, unfortunately, in our country. So what we do is we give them the best of salary, I should say that, and the best of accommodation, and perhaps uh, not many schools provide free education for their children. So these are all the strategies to attract the best. So now that you've told us a bit more about how you go about recruiting faculty, let's talk about the student to faculty ratio. That's of course key to a student receiving the right attention. I fully agree with you. The, in a school, particularly like ours, which is fully residential, it's very important that you maintain a good teacher-student ratio. In our case, it is one is to four, which means a child receives the best personal attention. Well, sir, when you founded the school back in 1977, could you ever have anticipated receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award from the education world? Could you ever have anticipated impacting so many lives? Well, I did not think of awards or any, any, any recognition, but I was very sure and I was very confident that I would make uh, the school uh, into converted into one of the best schools in the country and for that matter in the whole world. That ambition is still on. In another five years, the new extension of the campus would be ready and that will take us further forward uh, in the rankings and in the ratings, I'm sure. Well, shaping a child's education is amongst the most critical decisions that parents have to make and face. So what's it like for you to shoulder the responsibility for so many parents out there? Well, it's a, a difficult decision for the parents. My interaction with the parents has shown that um, they find it very difficult. Now today, fortunately today, I'm talking about present day, it wasn't there five, 10 years ago. Uh, now they shop around. They go to various cities. They go to the well-known schools, they make a thorough study. In fact, when the parents come, they want to have a meal in the school, they want to use the washrooms and see, they want to interact with the staff, the teachers, they want to make an assessment and I welcome it. See, I mean, if they are not happy, it's like they are your clients and your customers, they should be happy. It's better that the parents are satisfied in all aspects and the child continues and passes out of the school. And so what's the most difficult aspect of your job and what's the most rewarding? Well, I don't think anything is difficult if you have the right people in the right places and you build up a team. Well, now my job is mainly the policy decisions with the support of the Board of Governors and their guidance and see that it is all executed. 
And sir, how would you describe the impact of Good Shepherd International School outside the four walls of Good Shepherd International School? Well, our alumni are all over the world. Their get-togethers are in, um, in places like Dubai and London and New York and San Francisco and Houston. I get invitations uh, in Singapore and well, in India, in all the cities. And it's a great joy when I get an information or an invite, ask me to participate. You know, recently they said, sir, we are sending you the tickets, we are arranging your conveyance, your hotel is booked, please come. I mean, you get tempted, not because of these benefits, but then the love they show towards you, the respect they still have. And they all say, what we are in life today, in profession or in business, it's all because what we learn from the school. It gives a great satisfaction. And now we bring you a 360 degree perspective of the Good Shepherd International School experience. You'll hear from everyone, from alumni to administration, from staff to students. Here's a glimpse. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever seen a school uh, with quite the facilities that uh, the Good Shepherd has. I only wish that I'd been to a school where we had these sort of facilities as well. From learning how to control a horse to learning to hold a golf stick, it would have just remained a dream if I wouldn't have come here. I passed out as a Good Shepherd International School student. Now I'm come, I've come back here working as a physiotherapist. I interact with the students, live my entire school life again as a student and as a staff again. I visited Good Shepherd International School in November 2014 as a Trinity College London music examiner and the experience was extraordinary. I learned that they had an, uh, a vacancy for brass and violin teaching and so my wife and I were offered the job and so at the combined age of 118 we came to India on an experience which we shall never forget. Good Shepherd International School is a very vibrant and exceptional school and the children in particular are wonderfully lively and colourful. We don't feel as in a boarding school, we feel like we go home and come to school every day. Uh, we ensure that uh, we do our best for our students and uh, the experience continues to be great. I'm a type of person who really loves nature, like I'm all about the environment. So. The one reason is not only infrastructure, which really shook me. It's like where it's located. It's, it's located in a biosphere in Uti. So this is some place which, which is probably one of the most biodiverse places in the world. See, I'm not just a faculty, but I'm also an alumni, a faculty, a parent, all roles in one. The standard set over here is just the best. It not only prepares you for uh, the future, it sets you apart completely. Probably the best experience is the teaching of the students. We just find everybody so enthusiastic, so warm, so friendly, and they're an absolute delight to teach. I feel that Good Shepherd has provided me with opportunities to truly exploit my potential. I studied here for 11 years right through from the uh, upper kindergarten right up till the 10th standard and today whatever I am has been largely because of the foundation I got in those 11 years. To run institutions of this quality you need a commitment. I've seen a large number of foreign officers, uh, delegates, delegate uh, coming over to this particular place and making remarks to the extent that they haven't seen an educational institution of this kind in their countries. So that just substantiate the fact that it is one of the best in the country. With the staff deeply committed to academic and extracurricular excellence and the social and cultural development of a child, it's no wonder that Good Shepherd International School graduates have enjoyed placement at the world's leading universities. By bringing his vision for education to life, founder and principal Dr. P.C. Thomas has been invoking the imagination and untapping the potential of young minds for over four decades. But as a champion for attaining higher heights, it appears he's only getting started. 
Well, that brings our episode of Pathfinders to a close. I'm Pooja Jain, signing off from the Good Shepherd International School campus in Uti. We'll see you next time.